It's three days after people. 4,000 fighter jets, bombers and other aircraft lie in formation in the Arizona desert. But this phantom fleet is covered in a ghostly white. And it's not pilots, but coyotes that prowl these grounds. This is the Aerospace Maintenance and Regeneration Center. In the time of humans, it was a graveyard and storage facility for mostly military aircraft. The planes here are better prepared for a life after people than anywhere else on Earth. The stark white latex coatings known as spraylat is what keeps them in near pristine condition. They're all around the cockpit, they're on the fuel cells. In the fuel tanks, the backbone up here is every screw is it got a seal in it. Inside the internal fuel systems, those are seals in there. The seals keep out dust and rainwater, while the white color reflects heat. The interiors of protected aircraft never rise more than 10 degrees above the outside temperature, no matter how harsh the sun. For these aircraft, the end won't come from the sun, but from the ground below. Twenty years after people. In the Arizona desert, the mummified aircraft waiting in an eternal holding pattern are showing signs of distress. Years of high winds have scattered these aircraft about like toys on a giant playground. In the time of humans, the planes had to be periodically realigned. Because these aircraft have a vertical stabilizer on it, the rudder, and makes the aircraft behave basically like uh, a wind vane. We've had microbursts in the neighborhood of 120 miles an hour, which is enough to make most of these aircraft move around a little bit. The protective coatings on any planes that might be pulled back into service again also had to be maintained. Those that didn't receive this care suffered the consequences. This spray lat as we see it right now, is really not serving its function anymore. Rainwater can get in under here, and it can actually seep along the spray lat underneath the layer of, of protection. Now, after two decades without maintenance, every plane is taking a beating. The paint is wearing thin, and rust is corroding the joints. The canopies are clouding from UV damage, and fighter jet engines have become homes for birds. Wings on these aircraft are not likely to fall off. The wing structure is the strongest structure in the aircraft to support the aircraft when it's in flight and when it's on the ground, taking all the ground loads. So in a life after people, you're likely to see the wings still attached to these aircraft long into the future. But these planes won't stay here long enough to lose their wings. What we're seeing here is an example of some of the erosion caused by rainwater runoff. This is something that's common to all the aircraft that are stored here. And the chances are very good that this sort of erosion could have occurred in a single storm. As the desert rains sculpt out soil from below, desert winds sweep in dust from above. The earth begins to swallow what was once a mighty fleet.